little, We're live now. A little longer bolt. So we're gonna take this bolt and use it on the back. We're gonna take this new bolt. Look how much longer it is in the back bolt. We'll put that on the front now. And we have a little bit of thin spacers here to use. And a washer. I'm taking a spacer and a washer in the front. And just a single one in the back. We got this extra thick one here. I like this better. See how it's thicker than that one. Yeah. So now we got that much to move it. I don't know if we need quite that much, but we'll find out. Yeah, I think you can do that quite. I think you can do that much. You know, something I like this one better on the outside because this rubber right going away. Even though it's not chrome, this one wasn't chrome either. So, right in there. I got this nice big thick one here. And glue that in there. And then put your lock. Well, you can't use lock tape. You got to take it back off again. Why don't you put that brake line on? Because I'm working on a chain guard right now. Well, you know that's going to work. If you put more junk in the way, I won't be able to tell if it works or not. Now this bolt might be too long. But I'll take one of these here. Back. Yeah, well, you could probably get that thing on this now. I've got a good half inch of thread hanging out. That might be too much to hit the hob. Uh, nope, we're good. Check it back there. We got one. We got an extra probably three sixteenths more on the inside of the bolt just by feeling it, so we should be good. This one here, we'll just call it chain that cut it off a little bit. Let's see if I... Okay, it's just starting to come out the back side now. It's only about an eighth inch out the back. Crush the rubber. The rubber sucks. Alright, chain guards lean in a little bit. Yep. Feel a little bit anyway. Okay, we have a little bit of clearance there. Where's our chain guards? We got a lot of chain clearance, so. <clears throat> Straighten that a little bit. Some frame. Okay, where's our o ring chain at? Where's our master link? There it is. That's the one that's going to hit. We got Buco clearance. Yeah, it's got probably at least a 16 to 100 thou clearance back in there at least. Now. And we got clearances. Let me see the camera. So Rick's got his head in the way. I got to look. He wanted to look in there. So we have clearance to our shock here. And way up in here, my finger, way up front there, we have clearance. Why is the camera falling down? Rick's been loosening up the knob there that holds it up. So way up in here, there's between the frame rail, the black part, and the chain guard, we got a sixteenth of an inch up there. So, so we got a lot of clearance on everything. And the chain guard is relatively flat, but it is definitely bowed up a little bit. But it's straight on the outside. It's just the chain guard is not made even. What a shocker! All right, so we have extra washers now. I think those are FXR. That's what, what they look like. We'll have to put those on the uh, inventory list to buy some more of those. They probably don't make FXRs anymore, so it might be hard to get them. They use them on the Dynas. I don't know. A lot of Dynas stuff's pretty cheap. I don't think they do. Because they don't make those anymore either now, so we're all right. All right, so you'd like that. Now you want me to work on something else? I don't care what you do. Where do we pick up a two of these washers now? Those, uh, you must add another one. There was one I hear left. Well, now we got two. Now you got two. They, they're cloned. They they had sex? 
overnight, they had two. Something happened. You know, cloning is not sex, that's something else. If we keep talking like that, we're going to get banned off eBay, off of YouTube again. I'm already banned off. I don't know why you even let me run this stupid camera. They tagged your video already. That transmission video has been tagged. Not like I just wouldn't put anything that I'm on a video on. I didn't like it at all. Uh, oh, wow. I don't know what to tell you. Don't lose that washer. I never wanted to be videoed in the first place. Yeah, well, shit happens. I got my 15 minutes of fame a long time ago. Don't care to do it again. There you go. Look at that stuck to it. I wonder what that washer came off of. Okay, so Ricky wants me to go to lines. Now, do you think we actually have the correct parts to go in here? Ah, uh, you should. You don't think that was the right part? That's the hole to keep it from clogging up. I don't know if you have that correct bolt. I hope you do. Yeah. Good night. I don't know if you have one in stock. Yeah, but you're going to abrade it. Yeah, but this is the correct piece. Right. You know why you had to go to Braden? Because it looks prettier? Nope. Because they don't make it? They don't have any rubber ones right now. It's hard to believe that V-Twin is the only company that lists rubber ones. They don't have any. Well, how many old, besides the reproduction ones, how many old bikes are being built? Obviously a lot because they're out of lines. Or not that many, they don't make lines. Right, that's what I mean. They probably, you know, do them once every few years and they do one day a run and that's it, you know? Yeah. I don't know why they make this so hard you can't even get any of them plastic bags in there. They don't want you to hurt yourself. I think I showed up my knife yesterday. <clears throat> Damn the plastic getting out of here. I'm gonna tear the damn coating trying to get out of this stupid plastic protection device. <clears throat> if they made condoms like that, I wouldn't have babies anymore. Yeah. Competition something. That's a good thing it's a competition bike. I think it's gonna show it someplace. This counts as competition, doesn't it? What's that? You're going to show it someplace. Be competition. Yeah. Okay, I'm thinking this part goes over here. What do you think? Uh, your guess is getting mine. I think it takes a washer, though. Because it had a snap ring. Does it take a snap ring there? That's what it took. A little. It's on the rubber one here. A little keeper. Uh, it comes with everything you need. Yeah. Okay, well. He's holding a knife. Look what I found. You wouldn't believe how much money they charge for a stupid nut in a washer. I would believe it. I probably wouldn't buy it, but I'd believe it. Yeah, it's, You look up expensive and you add more. So you're thinking that sir clip that did not come with a new line is needed? Well, I think it'd be better than just having that bowl on there. Where's my plastic hammer at? Is that the correct way of taking that off? It's one way. If I had my screwdriver here, I could use it. I don't know. Kate will let you use that screwdriver that way. Yeah. I can see how that would be a problem. I can see how you get yelled at it for. Uh oh, jeez, I just had it on there and fell off. This looks like a good way I'm going to get myself to bleed like you by doing this. I didn't tell you to do it that way. I put it in the vines. That's what I said. That's why I wound myself all the time. What's the fun in it? I, my body heals itself. You look 
clips on there are pretty good. They usually are. Most people don't put that clip back on these braided lines, but because it's too much work getting them off. Yep. Yeah. All right, we have to go to the vise. I want the clip in the vise. Ah. That's cheating. Could you use my vise grips instead? Could. What you want me to use them for? No, I said you could do it anywhere you want. You know, so the clip is now junk because it's too big? No, it ain't junk. It isn't? Go get the other braid. Squeeze line. it back up a little bit, though? I, you know, be my guess. I don't know. You didn't make it out of spring steel? Yeah, they made it out of soft steel. That's because they just figured anybody would ever take it off again. Well, if you take it off very many times, it won't. <laughs> every new line comes with a new one. No, it doesn't, but. Look at that. It's got yeah. extra clearance in it now. That's like custom. Look at that. That is fancy, fancy stuff. I was thinking we're not going to reuse that. What are you going to do? Get a knife? What are you going to do? You don't have a choice. Put butter and stuff on it. Oh, you're going to use a fitting? Look at that. I could have used one of those lock washers. There's a little bracket that's got to go to, uh, oh, where does that bracket go? I forget. Right there. Yeah. It goes under, no, it goes right there. I'm just trying to set up if I want to go underneath the swing arm or on top of the swing arm. It goes on top. It's more protected up here. If you hit something, it'll It goes on top. Well, as long as you don't fall down and push it against that. But if you fall down, it doesn't matter. Yeah, see, this here doesn't have the uh, aircraft fan, so I have to use something like that fitting over there. The correct one. Yep. I thought so. Well, usually I use a, a universal one of these. Oh, okay. They don't have that big nut over there, though. So this one here, I'm going to have to use the original stuff because it's got an inverted flare right there. All right. And then it needs a, maybe a new banjo washer and a new bolt. The bolt was pretty rusty, so I'll probably put a new banjo on. It takes a washer on both sides. Yeah. No, it shouldn't have a washer on both sides. It's got a built-in washer. You got a built-in washer in that thing? Yep. Oh, okay. You see this for the first time you use it. And after that, it turns to crap. I wouldn't know. You got other problems, though. Three-eighths wrench. Seven sixteenths. Oh no, that doesn't work either. Half inch wrench. That doesn't fit either. We're just moving up the line. Take out all these fancy tools and none of them work. There is nine sixteen fits. about the crappy fluid in this thing. Think we should clean it? No, I just throw it together. Just re it the way it is. Just call it pre-lube. I think I got dirty. That's what happens. See it has a built-in banjo fitting. See how the washer's in here? Oh yeah. Built in. This side doesn't though. 
This side had an actual washer set in there. It's stuck in there though. So we got a new one of those. A new banjo bolt. That's not stuck in there. That's. That's. No, there's a washer in there. Mm. Mm. Okay. Look how thin that is. Mm. It's not a regular banjo washer. It's really thin. So we're going to go over to my washer department. And they got the same set of issues on the other side of this. So we clean brake fluid with. All right, we'll be back. All right, we're back. Rick had to go take a break. Okay, I cleaned this out with just uh, just water, a little bit of hand soap. That's what cuts brake fluid. Solvents and other stuff doesn't do it. And I blew it out real good to make sure the hole is not plugged up because this whole system was plugged up originally. So I got all the goop out of the inside in there. Okay, we got brand new banjo bolts in this bag here. There's a brand new one. I had one more brand new washer left. Oops, I'll take that back. There's two of them in there. Got two left now. Well, I guess now I'm going to have one left. I'm going to use one. So I can do one more job. So there's your correct thin ass washer. Sharp side up. And we take this one here and it goes like that. And it goes into the master cylinder. We got a little bit of black paint on there too to help seal it. That is not going to work very well. So they had this on backwards originally. This needs to be turned 180 degrees. I don't know if we go another 180 degrees. So what they did was they have a washer on the surface here, which was against a brake cylinder. And then the, the hex head they just had going against all these serrations right here is what they were doing. And I always figure you're supposed to have the, the washer supposed to be on the head side. At least that's how I thought it was supposed to go. But that's not how they did it. I think that's how I'm going to do it. Yeah. If they had this made wrong. Well, oh, you got some good video now. Yeah, actually, serration is about the same on both sides. You have a new bowl? Yeah. It's just a matter of the copper washer go on the bolt head or on the slave cylinder side. Goes on both sides. Yeah, they only got one washer. Both have two. They only got one. Now they got another problem. The bolt's too long. Oh, there we go. It had junk inside of the thing there. Kink? I think we need more room. Yeah, I don't know. I don't think it takes one on both sides. 
Went down? I don't think there's close to one on both sides. It's got the serration in there to seal against your, the iron. If you put a washer in there, that just gives you another surface to leak from. Well, maybe I'm wrong, but I thought it had two washers. Uh, it might have, but I don't but think why But that's why it had that narrated in the thing for the washer to seal up in. That's what I remember. But, you know, it's, it's been 20, 15, 20 years. I have plenty to part. The other problem is, is we need to have a bent hose, which we don't have. Yeah. Because it's jamming into the backing plate. Yeah, usually you usually stick them in there. Because you don't need a 45 degree, you need a 30 degree bend. No. Yeah. But I don't know why they put a 45 degree one in there. Me either. So now I'm going to have to bend the tubing a little bit. So that means i got to put it together with a tube on it. So I can bend it a little bit. See how steady you're holding that camera? I like that. You're doing a good job? You're doing a good job. Wait until you see how good I'm doing with any stupid bolt to start. I can't even get this thing to start because the hose is in the way. Yeah, you're going to have to bang it, tighten it up, and hope I you don't break even, that fitting. I can't even get it to start because it's in the way. Yeah. I don't know why you don't prevent it because they can't. They're stupid. Hardy did it. Well, it's not even close to being where it's supposed to be. That's the problem. I just want to be on it. Wait a minute. It's supposed to be the other way. Yeah, then it sticks straight out. It's supposed no, to go. No, it ain't time. Okay, I'm wrong. Give me the old hose. The old hose is straight. Yeah, the old hose is straight. All right. But it's shorter. Look how much flexible it is. You should be able to move that fitting there, too. Touch that fitting. <clears throat> I'm just going to bend the hose a little bit and pull it down. Put a pin right there. That's what I'm going to do. Definitely. <laughs> I was going to try to do that, Rick, but I can't even install it. So Yeah, I know. So we're just going to bend it. And you're not doing the filming, so it's hard to see stuff. I'll film it. The other problem is I need to get the hose off the bike because I need the length to play with it. So I'm going to take this off. You don't need to move it right now. Oh, yeah, wow. Well. You don't like it when you're munching in the camera either. It's very loud. Okay, I'm going to use this as a mandrel tool to bend it. Because it has about the right radius I want. Now I have a curve in there, see? Now, oh, look at that. It fits. Where's the bolt? See you over here, Rick? You have to come over here so you can see. I'm still going to start. This thing just does not want to go together. They never do. It's binding up so bad it just doesn't want to go. Okay, there it is now. Get the washer up a little bit. See, I'm still bound up on this thing. Even though I bent the hose, I need to bend it some more, I think. Mm -hmm. So it looks like a little bit more. It's pretty close. There we go. Now we got enough in there. Everything has to be hand massaged. Now we need that screw that we lost. Okay, let's take the clamp off the line here. Mm -hmm.
Damn, that was a stuck, stiff ass one. Jeez. steel clamps that's harder than hell to use. It's just going to rattle back here anyway. What's that? It's just going to rattle back here anyway. I'll just take a piece of hose here. Sucks. The dikes. Filming's great. All right. Get some razor blades and a pair of dikes. Okay, I'm going to slit the hose lengthwise. Okay, so now we got it lengthly cut. Now I'm going to cut the thing off. A pair of dikes. See what I'm doing off so low. Okay, so now we got a thing made. Back up a little. Okay, there's our little rubber. Put that around the hose. It's a little bit too big, so we're gonna shorten it a little bit. So somebody got my um, number in there. Where'd my clamp go? What's that? Lost my clamp. Oh, there it is. So we got your number and what? They're fax. I mean, they're texting me all these stupid messages. Oh. You're not specially exclusive now. I, I don't know. <laughs> I don't know who gave my number and playing. I'm just going to change my number, that's all. Where's my channel off at? Right here. I mean, there's a simple way to change, do that, you know. Just call it change the number. I can change your number. Yeah, Phillips Street Driver, small one. Or a big one, doesn't matter. Here's a small one. Well, the top up is easier. Well, I like going over the top, so I don't have to chase it. The video sucks because nobody's seeing what I'm doing, but oh well. So we're using the Phillips screwdriver to keep the hole centered. And you squeeze this heavy duty ass steel clamp back down. You just don't get on television and become famous like the pickers and everybody else. Damn picker fuckers. I'm gonna get banned again. Alright. See, this hose must be a little bit different length than the other one. It sets lower down to the frame, closer to the frame. Because it hits the chain guard. The clamp would have don't. to go down, not up. But the problem is the hose is so short. Just gotta go bad. down. I'm rubbing on top of the frame now. Oh. It's gonna get cut by the damn shock already. Oh, okay. Well, sorry. Just... Looks like it was sticking up over here. Right? It is sticking up because it doesn't fit this way. It's too
too short. You can't put it together like you gotta bend it way down to here like that, and it's not. What if you go under the shock? It doesn't bend that way. If I go under the shock, then it's it's not protected by the shock. You need to put a big spacer on this here to hold this out. Yeah, they didn't have a spacer on. I know they didn't, but that's with this setup, that's what's gonna have to get done to do it right. Or you're gonna have to bend this damn hose, this line to a tight bend, which we don't want to do now. If I bend this down a little bit more, it'll help us a little bit. So I guess I'm just gonna have to rotate that thing. I don't really want to rotate that thing, but I don't really have any choice at this point. You can rotate the square itself. Yeah, well this is not rotating because it's it's frozen solid. Yeah, I wouldn't turn that. I, I have to turn it. That's the problem. Just turn this. I can't turn that. I gotta get this rotated. If you loosen the nut, it'll it needs to rotate oh. at a different angle. The problem is everything is not gonna let you do that. Everything is in the way of doing stuff like this. Bleeder screws in the way, so I'm probably gonna take the bleeder out next. Because we gotta be able to turn that. Yep, bleeder has to come out with a shocker. Everything is fighting everything else. Yeah. To take the bleeder on. Yeah. So everything has to be hand made, even though everything is supposed to fit. Yeah. Why you know you know when you fit when it's hard. <laughs> It'd be nice if one part fit in correctly. Yeah. Well, wait until you get to the hard lines, break lines, and see how they don't fit. Yeah, but I'm good with hard lines. I know how to bend them around. Right, right but I bet they aren't even close. That's why I convert this stuff to the other stuff, but I don't use stock replacement lines like you've got here when I do on my other bikes. <clears throat> this bike I try to do stock replacement stuff, and that's my mistake, because we're custom. We're not stock. There ain't nothing fitting here stock. Now, I'm going to try to bend this thing, which won't bend. Nope, so yeah, yeah, it'll I move. I have to move it. No choice. Flex it at the bolt. Down, 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 down. No. Take it out of this because that's going to be destroyed. Put it at an angle at the frame. Then it'll give you more line. That's not going to root. Down. Yeah. You know, that thing is actually glued together. Yeah, it is. Go like, like this, it gives you more length. Give me more length is bending it more, which I did not want to do. I don't want to make a 90 degree bend out of that line, but that's what I'm going to have to do. So a lot of stuff I didn't want to do, but can't get away from that. Angel bolts up in there and been done with it. I could have done it easy, but I don't make a conversion for this. Okay, really, now I can't bend enough. I gotta go to a smaller diameter. I need something smaller to bend again. Yeah. It's not really smaller, barely. Smaller right than that. Right here. Like this. Filming very good there. What? You're not filming anything. Okay, I had to bend it around this. Rick didn't follow me, so you don't get to see what I got to do. So I bent it around my my extension here, which does flatten the line out slightly, but oh well. I doubt if it's going to be enough to do what I need to do, but. See if 
go underneath like that, I think that's a lot better. Yeah, that's the way it seems to go. Yeah, I don't want to do it that way. I think more, that's the way it goes. It's got a lot more protection on this side. Yeah, but I think it goes the other way. Yeah, I think I can make it work now because I've modified everything enough now. It should work. That's reverse the clamp around now. damn many tools and I still don't have the ones I need. Take a break. Doesn't help the tool problem. to where I want it. I didn't hear nobody come in. I didn't hear anybody. I don't know how to open a door. Or maybe it wasn't for us after all, who knows? Kind of weird. Yeah, a lot of people don't know how to open a door up. It is pretty complicated to open a door up. You'd be surprised how many people can't do that. Okay, that will work now. Okay, now I need to go find a screw for right in here, and we'll be able to get this figured out. Can't see that's what I've been doing this whole time. So now we got this screwed in there like this. This will come around off the backing plate. You have access to your screw right there access to here, away from the chain, we're not rubbing on the shock, we're not rubbing on the swing arm, and we're not rubbing on anything over here, and we're away from the chain unless the chain just snaps off. So we get pretty good protection on our line. If you go underneath here, you could get hit by something as you're running by down the road. If you get hit back here, it'll just bend out of the way, it shouldn't be a problem. All right, I'm gonna go find me a screw, we'll be back. Over there somewhere in there. There's that screw I had. Alright, this one fits, we think? No. Yep. Okay, I had to go find a screw. Big washer on it. We have a big hole in our clamp. It's hard to believe that's the correct clamp, but... I've seen big ones like these on the bikes before, so they probably are correct.
this down a little bit. This one ain't moving. I have no idea. I doubt it. Hello, we're not available now. Please leave your name and phone number after the beep. We will return your call. Nope, no message. I told you. Oh, they hung up on me. That was rude. Okay. I think that'll just make it. Tools out already. You got the right one there. I'll find the right one for you. All right. Tighten that down and twist it an hour too short. So I need to get more length out of that. Ah, this is really warm. 